captured the most famous faces in the 1930s and early 40s cinema. Gabo, Crawford, Bogart, and Gabo. Now, the work of George Harrell, one of Hollywood's greatest portrait photographers, is on display at Washington's National Portrait Gallery. For VOA News, Christina Casiedo smith has the story. They were the A-list celebrities of their time, and behind the camera that captured these stars was George Harrell. With his elegant, dramatically lit portraits, the photographer made a name for himself in the 1930s and early 40s Hollywood, its golden age. Hurrell's work is on display through January 5 at Washington's National Portrait Gallery. And from that collection of 70 photographs, we've chosen 20 that we really felt were highlights of that collection that show a range of actors who were really top drawer Hollywood stars during the 1930s and 40s. Born in Ohio in 1904, Harrell originally studied to become a painter, but by the mid-1920s he had moved to California and found a bigger market in photography. Glamour girl Marlena Dietrich. An introduction to the Metro Golden Mayor studio in the early 30s changed his life. At that time, MGM was issuing dozens of films each year. Basically, one film a week is going into the theaters. So there's a tremendous need for images to promote these films. And Harrell uh, steps into that role with, uh, you know, with great uh, ability. Among the big names on display are Clark Gable and John Crawford, who starred together in the 1936 film Love on the Run. Marlena Dietrich, who Harrell said, used to take a full-length mirror to photo sessions so she could see exactly how she looked, and John Barrymore, a star from a high-profile family of American actors. We like to show a variety of different time periods at the Portrait Gallery. We are unique in that we are both an art museum and a history museum. We have art curators and historians, and that um, really, it lends itself to telling biography. Hurrell's approach defined glamour for the movie industry. He became known for inventing the boom light. Gave him flexibility and the ability to move the light around and take advantage of, you know, of the shadows that it could, could really could create. Hurrell starts faded with the invention of smaller cameras. At the time, he declared, the glamour was gone. Cristina Caicedo-Smith, VOA News.